Hey, it's show and tell. Today I'm showing you an arrow bar. Oh, I know you've seen it before, but you probably never thought that it could serve as a model for osteoporosis. And that's because the arrow bar has holes in it. Well, you know, advancing age comes with all kinds of problems. The prospect of osteoporosis, a condition in which bone becomes uh, less dense, more brittle, and uh, more conducive to fracture. A microscopic view of normal and osteoporotic bone reveals a honeycomb-like structure with larger holes known as trabeculi spaces in osteoporotic bone. When explaining osteoporosis to patients, physicians sometimes use analogies for the porosity of bone structure, and chocolate bars suit this purpose. Arrow bars have large holes, while uh, crunchy bars have small ones, and therefore a comparison between these two seems to be an apt analogy for bone of high and low density. But is the analogy really suitable? That is what a research group in Wales sought to investigate. The results were peer-reviewed and appeared in the British Medical Journal that every December publishes papers that are quirky and lighthearted but still present legitimate science. In this case, a self-funded study involved dropping 10 bars of each chocolate from varying heights and determining the risk of fracture. The study required no ethics committee approval, nor informed consent from the subjects. Expectation was that the more dense a crunchy bar is, uh, the more likely it would exhibit better survival. Uh, alas, experiment does not always confirm theory. None of the bars fractured when dropped in a domestic kitchen onto standard ceramic tile from a height of 30 centimeters, uh, regarded as a model for a person tripping and falling when the relative weights of the subjects involved are taken into account. At increasingly greater heights, the crunchy bar was surprisingly more likely to fracture than the arrow bar. The scientists hypothesized that the greater protein content of the arrow bar, 3 grams versus 1.6 grams, provides it more elastic stress properties. Clearly, density was not proportional to fracture rate. The researchers concluded that the study can serve as a reminder for clinicians to inform patients that there are factors involved in the risk of uh, bone breakage other than bone mineral density as determined by bone densitometry. Physical activity level, calcium and vitamin D intake, family and personal history of fractures, and use of steroidal medications all have to be taken into account. Although it turns out that the chocolate bar analogy has some holes when it comes to illustrating osteoporosis, the trial did have a positive outcome in that once it was completed, the subjects involved were able to provide some gustatory delight. Yep. And that for today is our show and tell.